So if you're an artist and you're getting into a gallery, I think it's reasonable to have some expectations and then some things are not reasonable. So as a gallerist who's done this for 30 years, here's some of the things I would expect. One, the gallery should have some social media of some type at this point. They should have a good website. These are very important to your career and getting exposure. You can't just expect to get seen by somebody putting the wall on the, putting paintings on the wall. You need more than that. So when you're looking at a gallery, you should see, do they have good social media? Do they have web? Do they have video like we do? Or podcasts like we do with the Art Dealer Diaries. So if those are the kind of things, if they have the extra, go the extra length, this is a very good sign. Two, you shouldn't expect a show right off the bat. Now, if you're already well-known and a famous painter, you probably don't need to even listen to this anyway because you know you're probably going to get a show. But for somebody who's coming up the ranks or isn't well-known, most galleries aren't just going to go, I'll give you a show. In fact, if they go, I'm going to give you a show, either it's a very young gallery or something might be a little off there. So you want to find out. Generally, it should take a while. You work up the food chain. Two, what can you expect when they sell, when a gallery sells your painting? Well, you should be paid anywhere between 15 to 30 days. That's reasonable. There's some reasons for that. One, if they pay you too soon and the painting is uh, out on approval, comes back, they don't want to keep it, now the gallerist is on the hook for the painting, or he's going to call you as an artist and say, I need that money back because they didn't, the painting didn't stick. So it's not unreasonable for them to wait 15 or 30 days, but if it's any longer than that, then you should have a question in your own mind. You should also always get a consignment form from the gallerist. So when you bring paintings in, you make sure that every painting is listed with the price, the size, and what it is, and title. This is very important because sometimes galleries just, they close, and guess what? All your inventory goes away, and you need to have a way to be able to say, this is mine, this is what they have, and this is what is not been paid for. And if you don't do that, you're going to get in trouble. And I've seen really good artists get caught in this because sometimes galleries just close and it happens and they'll take the art or if they get in a bad position, they may start selling art and not paying you. So it's very important to keep a very good record of what you have, the prices and if it's sold. The other thing, a gallery should be able to tell you when they when you call them, they should be able to give you fairly quickly an idea if a painting is sold and when it's sold and when they can you can be expected to get pay, to get paid. I don't think this is unreasonable. So if they're having if a problem telling you this or don't know where your artwork, this is a red sign, a red herring that you go, oh, maybe I don't want to deal with this. And it's always better to pull from a gallery before you get into that situation where your paintings are gone and you're out of luck. Medicine Man Gallery, located for over 26 years in Tucson, Arizona specializing in antique Native American art, early Western art, including the famed Maynard Dixon, as well as modern art. You can find everything online at medicinemangallery.com. There's over 6,000 objects to select from. Also, the Charles Bloom Murder Mystery Series, written by yours truly, me, Mark Sublett. There's six books in this series, and they follow the protagonist Charles Bloom through all the intrigue of the art world set in Santa Fe and the Navajo Nation. These can be found on Audible, eBooks, Amazon, and of course, the gallery at medicinemangallery.com.